uh, is something like for example 3.14 you have a decimal part in this program we need to have a variable decimal part therefore we had to define load uh, 32 and i and so on uh, I define these two variables the rest uh, in fact uh, are just uh, I think the rest are uh, obvious you have to just uh, understand the principle of um, uh, uh, feed forward screening system and uh, yeah there's no need for more explanation just deterioration you need to uh, I need to actually add some explanation about it a deterioration you know I need uh, uh, again like uh, in a previous video in tank level control or tank level alarm I use the feed feedback node feedback uh, means what deterioration actually uh, we know that in a screen the stock let's say the stocks pile up it means new stock is added to the uh, previously piled up stock this in a program is defined so you see deterioration is rejected mass times this number plus the previous value and the previous value is what is actually is uh, uh, is the same uh, same value of uh, de uh, debt uh, but the previous value actually this is defined uh, like this you see here there is a feedback node here comes back to D and yeah you see the input values and at, uh, actually on the output you need to calculate uh, these variables f r m a m r c r c a f a that uh, f r is um, actually reject line flow rate accept line mass reject line mass uh, consistency of the reject line consistent consistency of the accept line and flow rate of the accept line and I just uh, explained about that what is that and you know that that is deterioration and so on and yeah the second screen actually the input of the second screens uh, are coming from the output of the first screen you can see here um, there is no more explanation I just uh, give you one more advice about the picture of a uh, uh, picture I put it you see uh, here in this program in the uh, control panel we have a beautiful picture I actually mm, uh, everything seems more beautiful using some pictures here I show you how to put it a uh, picture there uh, I think in the previous video in the tank level alarm we also used the picture and you already uh, you are already familiar with that but anyway we do it again you just need to drag your picture here uh, this picture is not a proper picture but anyway I just want to show you how to work uh, actually how to uh, use uh, your picture in your program you see you can uh, move the picture back forward uh, move to front move to back I think there is no need to explanation I just show you how for example put a let's say yeah a control like this I don't know 2000 and also you you can put an indicator here here so you can yeah indicator here for deterioration yeah I just uh, now you know how to work with this you can move this 
back. You can group everything. No, they are in a they are grouped. You can lock it here. So you cannot uh, move it uh, anymore. And so on. At the end, your program should work like this. I show you. I already made this program. And also, I have to show you something. Uh, actually, show you to make a modification to this program. Oh, sorry. And I already made this program. Yeah, it works. Yeah, this is our program. I hear you how it works. Yeah, you see. Yeah, everything seems fine. But I want to actually I press Ctrl T. I want to actually make everything a little faster. So I make our program. 1000 time faster so you can see the deterioration I hope you can see. yeah you see something here you see this is deterioration we wanted to see part of the stock actually sediments here and this indicator here shows uh, actually, when the, this uh, bar is completely red, it means that we need to change this screen, or we have to clean this screen. Yeah, you can see everything. This is in let flow. This is the final reject flow. Yeah, for. Point eight liter per second. The accept flow is quite high. And yeah, we can change everything. Yeah, we can stop. There is a problem here. The same problem we had in tank level control or tank level alarm. You see, I stop it. When I continue, it continues from uh, the previous or the earliest state we want to avoid this what we have to do is sorry oops what we have to do is just like what we did in the last in the previous video we have to in fact move uh, we have to Click on this, move initializer, one look out, see the icon changes, we have something like here. And create constant, yeah, zero. And also, You see, um, the value of this bar is here. When I start it again, yeah, it starts from zero. That's it. That's what we want. Okay. I think there's nothing more for explanation, and I hope this video was helpful. And um, thank you for watching.